Dr. Chike Akunyeli, the widower of the late Professor Dora Akunyeli, has been shot dead by unknown gunmen. A family source confirmed that Dr. Chike Akunyeli was on Tuesday night shot dead near Onicha, the commercial hub of Anambra State. According to them, he went for his late wife memorial lecture in Onicha and was going back to Enugu. That was when the thing happened. He was shot dead by unknown gunmen. I don't know how it happened, the source added. Chike's brother, Siri, in an Instagram post on Wednesday said, IPOB killed my senior brother. Why? Husband of the late Professor Dora Akunyeli is dead. IPOB, why on Tuesday? His wife, a former director general of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, died in an Indian hospital on 7th June 2014 at the age of 57 years after a prolonged ailment. Chike and his late wife had six children. After the death of his wife, Chike described her as an elephant who loved her country even during her travail. Her love for Nigeria was phenomenal and beyond words. Even in her last days, when she was still very ill, she insisted that she would serve the country with her last breath. She wanted a home called Nigeria, where citizens could live and enjoy. Well, this is heartbroken. This government has indeed created a lot of bitter memories for so many Nigerians, so many families. The system is not just working in, in this country. Okay, well, this death has really attracted a lot of comments and from people. This is disheartening. You can see the evil of insecurity in the Southeast. Every day, people are killed. Destruction everywhere in Igbo land. Prominent Igbo sons and daughters are being killed and people are keeping quiet. Is this how the Southeast will develop? Igbo land is actually graduating into the likes of the Northeast and that is true. That is how the northern has start. Before you know, the thing have escalated. And if these leaders of Igbo, their leaders, or any Igbo, whatsoever they call themselves, don't come together and look for a way to stop this killing in the southeast, it's going to continue. And before you know, the thing will escalate. Just like what we are seeing in the north now. What is going on in Nigeria? Killing every now and then. So sad. I am moving out of this country and will never return again. <laughs> My brother and I laugh, they, they laugh you, they say where you won't run go. But come on the second thought, I don't blame you. To survive in Nigeria now is more than just a blessing. This will not be country again, no, but it's just total jungle. No value for life. Only God knows who is next. Some persons in their reaction are blaming IPOB. They said we are busy doing sit, sit at home and destroying properties of our brothers and shutting down businesses because of Nandi Kano why overlooking the main issue at hand which is security dr chike at Kunyeli is now dead the family have lost meanwhile now the colonel's family are still in london why morons make noise in nigeria for him and this person is saying the southeast leaders must come down from their high horses and find a lasting solution this is what ipob and its followers face to understand Struggle in a nation like Nigeria is something different because your enemies within and outside will hijack it and turn your region to a war zone and use it to destroy the little peace you were enjoying before. And that is true. Just think of what happened in Elsass. It started well, peaceful protests. Before you know the bad one, the bad eggs, they hijacked hijack the system and everything went wrong. Life were lost. So IPOB, I will call on you guys to recheck your strategy. Check out things because the way it is now, even if you guys are not the one involved, the news everywhere is IPOB, IPOB, and people are, before when you came out, people were like loving you guys, but now you guys are losing your touch. That is the truth. Please drop your comments in the comment section. Thank you guys for listening. I do really appreciate it.